welcome to the channel guys I have to get busy I've got to process all these tomatoes Ugh, that one's not very good got that's one I dropped probably got bruised chickens will eat that anyway what I want to do today is I also want to process these but I want to make some homemade pasta sauce yep simultaneously so we're gonna film that I've got some Italian sausage I thawed out that I've got to cook so we're gonna make pasta from scratch and what is going on out here what's going on guys uh, I bet you certainly you guys aren't still laying eggs this breed of chickens don't lay eggs in the summer why are you guys all outside? I better make sure it's not a possum or a raccoon. Yep, something's in there. They're all out. Here, got you guys a tomato. Uh, let's see. Ah, there was a snake in there, guys. I did look earlier. I left him alone. Well, I guess he got his meal, or he didn't get his meal and left. And I bet you he's over here. I am not in the proper attire. Where you at, Oscar? I think I see his tail over there. I don't bother him because he he don't hurt the chickens. Let me stand on this brick. Yeah, he's gone because she went back in there. I gotta do something with this junk. I know. I say that every video. All right, he ain't, he ain't gonna. You guys go back in the shade now. I don't want. If he was in there, I was gonna get him out because uh, I don't. I want these chickens out here in the sun. But it's still pretty shady over here. All right, first thing we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna get that lawnmower and I'm gonna load up some garbage bags and take them over there to the dumpster. You wanna go with me? Because I don't have any other way to get it over there other than to walk. I ain't doing that. Uh, let me put some pants on. There's my transportation. I don't even know if that trash bag I have up in the trash can up there stinks so bad. I'm probably going to die on the way there. Alright, let's put y'all up here. I'll, I'll edit out the noise. There we go. See 
man was trying to belong But oh, that night it all went wrong Yeah, let me tell you Willie was a good boy He was a constant source of joy Yes, he was The trouble with the man Was gambling his life away On a whim Yes he did But I thought he was just alright But I'm sad to tell you So sad When he didn't come back home Last night No Some redneck stuff right there. It don't get any more redneck than having your lawnmower as your transportation. I think the snake come back. Let's go look. Did you like that? Did you like that? All right, let's go see. I'm about getting tired of Oscar the snake. He didn't come back, guys. He can only hold one egg in him. I mean, you guys shouldn't be laying eggs anyway. Yeah, I tell you, you leave for one minute. No, he ain't back. She's in there. Don't you lay no more eggs. This ain't an egg farm. I want you guys to behave. What are you doing, Waddle? You're too big to be on that little old cheesy stick. Let me open this door and look anyway. I mean, if it ain't the dogs, it's the chickens. There ain't nothing in there. I always look up here before I get in here because when I worked at the ranch, they'd love to get in these little spots up in here and you'd walk right under them. And sometimes it'd be rattlesnakes. You don't want to startle a rattlesnake. All right, guys. Let's get in there. Let's cook some pasta sauce. Let's put away some tomatoes. And let's have a little fun while we do it. What is your brother making all this noise about? What is he doing? It's nice and cool in here. It's cooler in here than it is in the house, Lily. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. That boy, he's barking his head off, and then he runs outside. Where you at, boy? What are you making all this fuss about? Huh? I know there was a snake in the chicken coop. Nothing you can do about it. All right, Daddy's gotta get busy in the kitchen. Gotta make pasta. <laughs> ah, pasta. Oh, oh. That's right. Oh, oh. Tomatoes. Oh, oh. Pasta. Oh. Does really like pasta? Oh, she don't oh. know. Waldo does. All right. You behave, you guys take a nap. It's prime puppy dog nap time. Oh, oh. All right. Now what do you want? I'm not coming in here to sit in the office. I've got work to do. i got to load up some bowls full of tomatoes. All right, here's what we got to start with. We've got fresh oregano, basil. I'm gonna rinse them off with some cold water. I'm actually just gonna cook, cut them up a little bit, put them right in with the sauce, cook them down with the sauce. Got me a few green peppers. There's a piece of another one in the fridge. I got some romas. I got some other varieties of tomatoes. We're going to de-skin them because I don't like peels in my sauce. Uh, it's very hard to, I just don't like how it feels. So we're gonna get these all in. What I'm probably gonna do instead of putting these in the freezer like I have done with these, 
I have plenty of these and I still got some from last year and I think the year before. I think I'm going to just cook most of this as sauce and then do some short term freezing in uh, like some containers like these because I go through a lot of pasta sauce and I've got a lot of meat. So let's go ahead and plan on just making a whole bunch of homemade pasta sauce. And what have I got for pasta? I think for lunch today we're going to make some uh, ragate. Penne ragate. Little things, you know, made with salmonella. That got to be good for you, made with salmonella. I like that salmonella guy. All right. Got my pots ready, my stove is clean, my dishes are ditted. Let's get busy. And here's what I need to cook sauce with. We are going to the Bose Alexa. Alexa, next song. You know what I want to hear. Alexa, next song. Well, anything Steppenwolf is good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Water is boiling to start the process. You guys have already seen me do this, so we're just gonna get it done. I've got ice water in the sink. They're gonna be in here, I don't know, 30 seconds. Put them in the ice water, peel them. And once they're all done, I need that pot, I'm gonna start cooking my pasta sauce. So about 30 seconds, all they need to be in there. Get a nice peel. I've been dancing and gyrating all over the kitchen, but I can't play the music for you guys. Drew can. He breaks the rules. He's a rebel, but I ain't gonna break the rules and get non-monetized. All right, let's get them out. Into the bath. Why do I put a bowl under there like I'm gonna get the floor wet, like I'm gonna hurt it? I'm nuts. Come on up there, little tomato. Alright, we're not getting there fast enough. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You guys is already peeled. Alright, come on, water. Come back up. Alright, let's get some more in that water. Plop, plop, plop. This process is fast. Plop, plop. Plop, plop. And if your tomato floats in the water, it means it's buoyant. Doesn't mean anything else. And when I cored them all, I forgot to slice the X on the bottom. So I had to go through the whole thing again. It was painful. Right, come on out there, you guys. Ah! Ah! Tomatoes, your only purpose is to be good in my belly. And I love you for that. All right, one more batch. I think we can get all of them in there. Get in there, get in there. You get in there. Ah, should save one of these just to eat, but I've got a two. Woo! These, these need to be eight. 
All right. Thirty seconds. Go ahead and cut the stove. No, I'm gonna leave it on. I want it to stay hot. So turn it down. All right, out you boys come. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. And I do got a bunch of Romans left, and uh, I'm gonna do something else with them. That won't be in this video. How did you, what are you trying to hide? Get in there. Beautiful tomatoes, and there's more out there on the vine. I'm gonna do something different. I wanna, I wanna freeze them separate so I know what they are. They have a whole different cooking flavor. All right. You thought you were, you thought you were gonna get away with it. In there. Let's get some sauce cooking. All right, I know this camera's dark. Uh, I've got a good amount of olive oil in there. Probably, I don't know, a good amount, okay? So I'm gonna start chopping, I'm not gonna film that, and we're gonna get this sauce cooking. I'm gonna get that good and hot, throw them chunks of tomatoes right in there. Their favorite. Not only tomatoes, but the bell pepper seed pods. Oh, chick chick. Come on, Waddles. Look at that Waddles go. Go, Waddles, go. He'll go right to the bell pepper seeds. <laughs> Them dogs been drinking out of your water again. Get you some waddles. All right. I have different, some of these I diced up. Some of them I put, uh, some of them I diced up and put in my Ninja. It's all dirty now. Ooh, I've got my tea out. Ah, red diamond unsweet tea. Unsweet, see? That's almost against the law down here in Arkansas. I used to hate lemon in my tea, but for some weird reason, I like it now. So anyway, we're going to cook this up from fairly high. There's a lot of stirring. And let me make a disclaimer, guys. I am not Italian, okay? You don't have to give That's not how Italians do it. I'm a hillbilly Arkansas person now. And it's, I've already made a few batches of this. Yeah, it doesn't look real good right now. That's because I ground it up. But that is the natural color of the tomato after it's been through the ringers and this will break down out a lot of people don't like seeds okay but they don't bother me and i have a strainer and i'll probably strain some of them out later uh, once this cooks down more and it'll thicken up and once now i'm going to get the meat going it's going to be a while on this and we'll come back when i start adding the meat just the fat from the meat will thicken it up some that is going to be a lot of sauce that's a pretty big sized pot so we'll come back when uh, it's cooked down a little. Alright, here we are about an hour into cooking it down. It's breaking down as you can see. I like the seeds, so I'm leaving them. They don't bother nobody. Hey, if I get a little tomato garden growing in my belly, that's all the better. All right, oh, I've added my basil, you can see there. I've added my oregano, fresh from the garden. And I've got my bell peppers. I'm gonna cook some of that up when I do the meat. It cooks faster in there, and then we'll drop that in the sauce. Yep, everything from the garden except pepper and a few other things. Mm. And it's thickening up. It's gonna be just fine. Yeah, I like a lot of sauce on my pasta. I have not yet tasted it, but that's going to be good. All right, I decided to go ahead and saute up the onions and the peppers. And we're going to chop up some mushrooms. I'll put them on there towards the end because we don't want them getting too overcooked. But some of y'all like how I cut up my mushrooms. 
So I'm gonna put that on time lapse for you guys. There you go. In the middle of the night. <laughs> That's all I know about that. I know somebody mentioned turn your knife over when you scoot your stuff. You'll throw it. It's a hard habit to get out of, man. Get over there. There. Man, you just can't satisfy everybody, okay? You know what I am. Leave some big and chunky. Right, gotta, gotta flip my saw tails. Woohoo, stir my sauce. Oh, that sauce. Mm. I'll tell you, man, kitchen's a workout. Big daddy mushroom there. Yeah. Get on and do it. Get on and do it. You know, they grow these in poop. A little poop never hurt nobody. I washed them off. If you think about it, everything comes from poop. In a way, Three more. Ho oh, ho. I don't care. Cut them up any way we want. Alright, don't you go nowhere. There, nah, leave you fat. How's that? The shrooms are done. Except this one. Alright. Alright, before I add the green peppers, mushrooms, and onions, I'm gonna give it a taste. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. We'll get it cool. Get a little taste. Get done in there. Like a, like a heroin shot. Oh, that's good. I ain't never done this stuff, guys, honestly. All right, let's, let's get you in there. I think I'm going to have to bust out the bigger pot because there ain't, ain't, like, ain't no room for the meat, man. Now, right, let's get that meat cooking. I'll show you what I'm putting in there. All right, I've got this butcher box sweet Italian grand ground pork sausage. So we're gonna put that in there. Uh, JB Conway actually sent me that. I think I'm supposed to share it with Jeff, but you know what? He don't like tomatoes, so. But I could have swore he was over here eating spaghetti one time, but he doesn't like tomatoes, so I don't know. I might have to invite him over. We'll see. And then I'm gonna put some ground round in there. But this ought to be good. I'm going to go ahead and get that fried up. And, oh, looky here. It is getting there, man. Oh, it's breaking down. That stuff tastes good, man. Yeah, the seeds kind of make it weird. You don't ever see seeds in 
but I like them. And it, you know, it's my world. Okay, let's get the meat in there. Okay, while the meat is cooking, I'm going to add about a half a bottle of Mrs. Dash. Oh, does it make it? <laughs> I had you guys going in there. Uh, I ain't gonna put no Mrs. Dash in there. It is salt free though. Huh? No, no Mrs. Dash will hit my sauce. Get out of here. All right, all the meat is in there. I've got my kitchen cleaned up. The dish is done. And I'm just gonna let this simmer a little while. Get some, of, it's a little thin. So I'm going to let it simmer. The longer it simmers, the water will out of, in there will evaporate and it will thicken. Because it's a little too thin right now. I should have let the tomatoes, uh, should have let them cook a little longer. We'll get it thickened up. But the thing is, I don't have any tomato paste and I wouldn't want to ruin it with the canned tomato paste anyway. So it'll thicken. And the last resort. You can add a little pasta water and you got to leave a little pasta like in the pot in the pot and let it simmer in there for a while and then just add a little bit of that pasta water the starch from the pasta will thicken it or you can use cornstarch i don't have any of that and let me tell you the worst thing about this jeff took me to the grocery store blah, 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 the grocery store yesterday and so I got things I would need, you know, in case it's going to be Friday before I got a ride. And uh, I forgot cheese. Eating pasta without my shredded extra sharp cheddar is going to suck. But I did remember to get the Parmigiani cheese. Got a new bottle of that. Yep. Oh, you guys are there. <laughs> I got that. So it ain't all going to be bad. But I think that this will be so good, it won't matter. I said it won't matter okay we'll come back when I get some pasta cooked and put some of this on a plate but this is gonna have to simmer a while okay go on go on I want to go sit down I'm tired I've been in this kitchen for several hours all right I'm just gonna walk away you guys obviously ain't gonna leave and there we have it shells and whatever them other things are with homemade sauce mm -mm -mm. Italian sausage ground round that's what I'm having for lunch and I did get my sauce thicker it's a little thin I made a little roux out of uh, butter and a little bit of flour and then you put it in there and it thickens up but I kind of like it a little thin Cause it's got so much meat, man, it's thick. All right, guys, I slaved in this kitchen. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you'd like to become a member of my channel, I know some people don't like them things, but I, everybody else is doing good on them. So I figure I'm gonna put mine out there, but mine, I only have two levels, $2.99 and the highest is $9.99. And as soon as I get enough people, I'll put out some extra content for the members. Uh, I'm not going to promise to do a whole bunch. It's just something that helps us out. It's a little extra. Uh, there are times we have bad months, and uh, this month isn't too good a one. But it helps. It's a small, a small price, you know. And it, 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 the more people that you get, the bigger it is. So, you know, a little, a dollar here, a dollar there, it adds up. But I would appreciate it, and no, no obligation. Uh, I don't press subscribing or any of that stuff. You, know, you guys do what you want. But uh, I can tell you this. My expenses are going to be going up. Yep. But there'll be more on that soon. Happy trails. Come lampare nel mare. Si accendono ad una ad una le finestre.